In today's video I'll show you 3 breakfast bowls that will guarantee to get you out of your breakfast rut. And make sure you don't miss the last recipe as it's perfect for anyone looking for a spin on the classic avocado toast. For our first bowl I'm making a classic Mediterranean breakfast bowl featuring all my favorite things – Greek salad, pita, hummus and eggs. To begin I'm starting by prepping my eggs. I'm doing boiled so I added some boiling water to my pan and slowly lowered the eggs in with a spoon. But you can also do fried eggs or poached, they also would work so great with these recipes. While my eggs are boiling, I'm making a quick Greek salad. I'm using baby tomatoes, so I'm just chopping them up in small pieces. You can also use big tomatoes, but I find baby tomatoes are more flavorful all year around. I added them to my bowl and then moved on to chopping the rest of my vegetables. I did about half a green pepper and again I'm chopping it up in small pieces as I want everything to be in a nice small biteable pieces. I added it to the bowl and then chopped about half a cucumber and about a quarter of an onion. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to see more quick and easy recipes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future Mediterranean recipes. For herbs I'm using basil but you can use any herb you like and have or if you don't have any you can also use some dried oregano. So I just chopped up the basil in small pieces and added the rest of the veggies in my bowl. I added some olive oil and vinegar and seasoned with salt. I then gave it a good mix and our Greek salad is ready. And now onto assembling the bowl, I added some hummus on my plate and spread it around so it's in a circle. I then served some of my Greek salad and of course you didn't think I was gonna have a Greek salad without feta, did you? I'm adding a few cubes and also some kalamata olives. And then my eggs were ready so I added a couple and cut them in half. I boiled my eggs for about 6-7 to seven minutes so they're a bit soft in the middle. I added some olive oil on the hummus and topped with some za'atar. I also warmed up a pita and chopped it up in small pieces and added a few on my bowl. And our first Mediterranean breakfast bowl is ready. So excited. The hummus with the za'atar looks amazing. I just, I don't know how to have it all. Mm. It's so good. It's so fresh. It's amazing. Mm. It's just so yummy and so fresh and the za'atar on top of the hummus makes it so much more flavorful just gives it a bit of a, you know, a bit of more something I know I'm only on the first bowl but I have a feeling this will be my favorite but stay tuned for the other ones It's just so good Perfect Thank you Let's make some more And any leftover Greek salad that you got from the first recipe you can use on this next recipe saving you time in those busy mornings So for our second bowl we're making a quinoa Greek salad topped with eggs I'm starting by boiling some quinoa, so firstly I rinsed it well and then added it to my pan with some boiling water. I seasoned with salt and let it simmer for about 13 minutes. Once it was ready, I drained it and added it to a bowl. I then added some of the leftover Greek salad and gave it a mix. I also added some feta and olives and gave it another mix. And now to serve, I'm starting by adding some hummus in the middle of my bowl. I'm spreading it around making it into a circle and making a base for my salad to sit on. I then added some of my quinoa salad and then topping with a boiled egg. I season with salt and pepper and our quinoa bowl is ready. Look how fresh and tasty it looks. It's so yummy. Let's try the quinoa. Try and get a bit of everything. Mm. This is so yummy. It would work great as a lunch or dinner as well, like very quick. If you have ready quinoa, it just came together so quickly. But if you're very low on time, you can also do couscous because that takes like five minutes to cook and it's even faster. I just love quinoa, just like the texture and also the fact that it's higher in protein, just perfect. Mm. Mm. And you can easily change the herb as well and you would have a completely different taste and flavor. I love dill as well but I couldn't find any today so basil it is and it just makes it so good. Make it as well. <laughs> And for those of you who can't imagine breakfast without bread, then this next recipe is for you. For this bowl, we're making a loaded toast with hummus, halloumi and eggs. While my bread is toasting, I cut half an avocado in slices and then I added some olive oil to my pan. I added a block of halloumi in slices and let it cook for a few minutes. After a few minutes, I flipped it to the other side and let it crisp up for a few minutes again on the other side. And now on to serve, I'm starting by adding some rocket in my bowl. I'm making a little hole in the middle and adding my toast. I then spread some red pepper hummus and as you can tell I like a thick layer of hummus. I then added my slices of avocado and topping with some salt. 
added a couple of slices of halloumi and then one of my soft boiled eggs in the middle. I season with salt and topped with za'atar and our loaded toast is ready. And ideally I'd add a squeeze of lemon on top as both halloumi and avocado go so well with lemon but I forgot but it was still delicious and the za'atar gives it that slight lemony flavor too. I'm gonna go like this. Ambitious, can take on the challenge. It's so creamy. The avocado and hummus just work so well. And then again, the za'atar just gives it so much flavor. Only a sprinkle and it looks amazing. Like, just love za'atar. I recently discovered it and I'm obsessed, as you can tell. You can also do a drizzle of pesto as well. I didn't have any and couldn't be bothered to make any, but a drizzle of pesto would also be amazing. But already it's so good. And because it's red pepper hummus, it gives it a bit of a different flavor. So good as well. Let me know in the comments which bowl was your favorite and which one you'll be trying this week. I think mine was number one, but everything was delicious. I'm gonna go back to my egg. Mm. Mm. Amazing, just Amazing. And if you want to take all these recipes to the next level, then this next bonus recipe is for you. Making your own homemade hummus is much easier than you think, and you can easily make a big batch at the start of the week and enjoy it throughout the week. To make it, I started by roasting a couple of garlic cloves, and you don't have to roast them, I just find I prefer the flavor when it's roasted, and it's not as intense as raw garlic, but if you're in a pinch, you can also use raw garlic. So I took a couple of garlic cloves off my garlic and added it to a little ramekin with a pill on and added some olive oil, and then put it in the oven to roast for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, I got a can of chickpeas and drained it well. Again, if you have homemade cooked chickpeas, the flavor is even better, but I'm not gonna lie, that takes a lot more time to prep and you have to soak the chickpeas from the day before, so I usually just use the canned ones. Once I drained my chickpeas, I added them to my food chopper and then added a couple of tablespoons of tahini. I like to give it a good stir as it tends to separate with the oil, so once I combined it well, I added it to the food processor. I added a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and also squeezed half a lemon. I seasoned with salt and pepper, and for spices I used a bit of cumin and paprika. And now my roast garlic was ready, so I let it cool for a few minutes, and then when it was cool enough to handle, I squeezed out the garlic from the peel and added it to my food processor too. I pulsed it a few times until it's nice and creamy, and then I checked the consistency and thought it needed a bit more oil, so I added the olive oil that the garlic has been roasting in, and then pulsed it again. I checked the consistency again and added a couple of tablespoons of water to make it even more creamy. I gave it a final pulse, and then it was time for a taste test. Okay, I've made it. Let's have a taste test because sometimes it needs a bit more salt or spicy, so let's have a taste. Mmm, very lemony which obviously I like. I don't think it needs anything. I think it's perfect. I love that when it happens. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it needs anything. It's perfect to go. And I think roasting the garlic makes such a big difference because it doesn't taste too garlicky, but you still have that nice flavor, but it's not overpowering because raw garlic to me is like, hits you in the face sometimes so this is just perfect i'll have the recipe linked down below and and if you want to make different flavors you can easily add stuff to it so you can add beetroot or roasted pepper that also works well or if you want to make it even more lemony which i totally approve you can put more lemon you can just make it your own so the combinations are endless but this is amazing i'm so happy with it to serve i added in a bowl and spread it around so it's nice and smooth on top I then topped with some olive oil and of course some za'atar, as we've established by now, this is my latest obsession. And our homemade hummus is ready. This is such a great dish to meal prep and can be used for breakfast, snacks or any meals really. And you can easily adjust the spices and make it exactly as you like it. This is such a great staple and one of my go-to recipes that comes together so quickly but tastes so delicious. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see five of my favorite Greek recipes, you can check out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!